Hi guys, this is Durga. So domestic flights have started from May 25th and same like me, it has been a relief to many of you who were stuck at different places for months. Uh, with the ongoing change procedures for web check-in and few other procedures related to this domestic air travel during the lockdown, I see that many of you guys like uh, solo youngsters, few kids, few parents with kids and few parents with elders have very important doubts and questions related to it. So guys, this video is for you. Before that, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more updates related to the travel and also some exciting videos on travel. I have listed out few key questions and I will be giving quick answers to those. Uh, hope this video gives you some clarity regarding all this process. So the question is, is the Arogya Setu app mandatory? What about those who do not own a smartphone? Will they be allowed to pass if they do not have Arogya Setu app? Okay. So the purpose of Arogya Setu app is to know the status of your health. So like passengers are required to certify their health status either through the Arogya Setu app or a self health declaration form. So in case if you do not have smartphones or you do not wish to download the app, you can contact the CISF personnel at the airport and get the self-health declaration forms. Also, kids below 14 years uh, of age are not required to register on this app. The next question is, what if I don't have a smartphone? Will that be a problem with boarding pass, baggage check-in, etc.? So smartphones definitely ease the process of air travel for both, you know, the passengers at the same time, the airlines authorities. But it is not at all an issue in case you do not have smartphones. Do make it a point to carry multiple hard copies of your boarding pass at the same time your baggage tag. So all the process will be hassle free. So like as per the SOP that was passed by the Civil Aviation Ministry, it is mandatory uh, that they should avail the tele check in option for passengers who cannot access smartphones and uh, computers but like as soon as we get any update on this we shall definitely let you know next uh, should the traveler know english will they be assisted in terms of filling the self declaration form so knowing english is not mandatory at any of the indian airports the airport staff is more than willing to help regarding the forms or for that matter anything related to the air travel are there any special provisions for kids below 14 years of age who are traveling alone? So for kids below 14 years of age who are going to travel alone, uh, please contact the customer care of particular airlines once you are done booking your ticket. They will be providing a special code for it and also they will be charging like rupees 1500 extra for the domestic travel. The next question is, if more than one people are traveling under the same PNR, uh, do they need to carry multiple smartphones for the Arogya Setu app? Okay, it's not mandatory to carry multiple tickets. If all of you are traveling under the same PNR, the same one ticket can work for all of you. At the same time, individual health declaration is important. So if you have those many smartphones, do have a separate uh, health registration under the ROG Setu app or either the self declaration form. Next is, do we need e-pass for local commuting that is from home to the airport and vice versa? As for the recent installment of lockdown 5.0 in India, uh, e-pass is not required for inter-district travel within the state. But remember, it has to be outside the containment zones. The next question is, how to do web check-in? Uh, so the process for web check-in is very simple. In our previous video, I have given a step-by-step -step procedure for the web check-in of all domestic airlines in India. Uh, I have pasted the link for the same video in description. Please head over there. So the next question is, what are the new baggage rules and how to generate baggage tax? So only one check-in baggage is allowed apart from one hand baggage and the upper limit of weight for the check-in baggage is different for different domestic airlines. I have given the official links for all these domestic airlines in the description. You can head over there and check out. Also, uh, to make sure the maximum possible contactless journey, it is advised that passenger, passengers print the baggage tags inside their homes before starting the journey and paste them on their bags. At the same time, if you are not able to do this, the provisions for generating baggage tags is also available at the airport. Next, in case I want to travel to a city and return on the same day, would that be allowed? Uh, yes, on your arrival airport, you will be questioned uh, whether you have a connecting flight or an immediate flight back to your home city. 
In that case, you are supposed to provide all your onward journey details to those people. Next, will the safety kit be provided by the airlines? Will it be charged separately? So, airlines will supply a safety kit which includes a mask, a face shield and sanitizer uh, once you reach your boarding gate. But at the same time, you are required to enter the airport with mask. I would also suggest you to wear gloves and at the same time wearing the mask throughout your journey is mandatory. The next question is, is food and water available at the airports and also inside the airplanes? So at some airports, food and water both are available, but I would suggest you should carry your own water and food yourself. At the same time, uh, once your journey starts in the, inside the airplanes, there will not be any food services and even water. So do carry your own water. In the worst case scenarios, you can rely on this app called as HOI. It's an all airport app uh, wherein you can order contactless food online. The next question is, are the quarantine rules different for kids, elders, sick and pregnant ladies? So vulnerable people such as the pregnant ladies, the elderly, the kids at the same time people with health issues are actually not advised to take up the air travel but in unavoidable circumstances once your journey is completed people are advised to undergo self-isolation under active surveillance. Uh, the, to the people who are accompanying such people, I would request that make sure of the maximum possible contactless journey. The last question is, how the social distancing is being maintained inside the flight? So people are wearing masks, face shields and gloves, uh, but the middle seats are not empty, flights are running in full. Uh, my opinion on this is, it comes down to individual responsibility. To be maximum alert and minimize the touch print throughout your journey because the airlines authorities and the government authorities have to balance between providing the facility at large and making sure of the maximum safety that they can so it's a collective effort and uh, no outside agency can make sure of 100 percent safety so guys take care as much as you can one important point, do check out the state-wise regulations. Different state governments have laid out different protocols for passengers landing in their airports. So do give it a read. I have pasted the link for the same in description. You can check it out.